Good East presenting us, everybody. The name is Bufang, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Silver Version. Now, you may notice the Northern in the spot last time, but as I said, I was doing some training, and that's what we're here to do. Or, what I did do. I trained every member of the team except for Glenn up to level 20. But you may go, hey, wait a minute, why didn't you evolve Glenn up to 20? Well, I'm glad you asked, because if I did that, then we would have missed out on something special. And no worries, I also did do the experience, so we're not grinding a full level on Glenn. We're just getting... I think we only need like one, maybe two battles. Okay, one battle. Unless I feel like switching out. But still, something really special happens to Glenn at level 20. So, we're gonna get him there. Crap. Mudslap was disabled, Mudslap is disabled, yada yada. Let's try out Ice Punch. Yes, the Pokemon with no arms can throw an Icy Punch. Okay. Slam. Didn't affect Glenn. Okay, we should've just done with Slam in the beginning. But yep, yeah, Glenn's at the level 20 now, and let's see what the special thing is. What? Glenn is evolving! The pun in your name is finally starting to make sense. Everybody, please welcome our new and improved Glenn Quagsire. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Yup, that's why I wanted to save it for that. And now with a newly evolved team member on the way, and a master strength boost, I personally feel that we are in our best shape right now to tackle on the devil herself. Whitney. Alright. Oh, wait, first things first. I would like to put Herc in the front. I personally believe that... Do, do, I don't like the fight things in these games. Alright. We have a major strength boost and I have a strategy that I want to use with Glenn. And so, with this all being said in mind, I think that I'm ready now to tackle Whitney. You're considered the worst gym, not only in all of Johto, but in all, but in all the series. I'm gonna super cute, you wanna battle? I'm warning you, I'm good. But you may go, wait, how is he so hard? He only has two Pokemon. Well, let's start with the easy one. Clefairy. I used you last time. You were pretty good. Horn attack! Okay, that did around half. Metronome, what are you gonna get? Barrage? Haha, <laughs> missed. Alright. We're going into the devil spawn of a Pokemon with a full team. Mill tank! This singular mill tank is the reason why this is the least favorite Pokemon of all time. This one mill tank is the reason why everyone hates mill tank. Probably should have switched, but <sighs> crap, it's building up rollouts. Why didn't I switch? And you can't chip away at this thing. Okay, it missed. Am I not even? No, it's gonna use milk drink. All right, yeah, called it. Well, didn't get all of its health back. And horn attack is gonna do a decent amount. Uh, horn attack again. Okay, it started a rollout combo. Crit. Well, you're stuck in rollout, so as long as this doesn't kill, we win. for this fight. What? <laughs> you meanie. Give me my gym badge. Lady, how do I calm her down? Oh no, you made Whitney cry. It's okay. She'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. It's your job to lose. You want a badge? <laughs> it's got the plane badge. 
Gold received the plane badge. Well, that was easy. Strength outside of battle also increases your Pokemon speed. Also, you can have this too. Gold received TM45. What is that, rollout? Oh, it's tracked. Right! You didn't even use it because you went for a rollout immediately. But the thing that makes this mill tank so scary is that it has a tracked milk drink stomp and rollout. Stomp can make you flinch. A tract can make you lose half, make you have half your attack power and make you immobile. And you can start a rollout combo, which can get it to 120 power. It's the bug equivalent. It's the rock equivalent of Fury Cutter. But yeah, wow, that was easy. I had made sure to evolve Glenn and everything. Although I'm pretty sure, to be fair, that our well, we were well, okay, we were on par with Whitney's mill tank. It's not like we over-leveled, we just got everyone on par with it. But yeah, wow, that was obnoxiously easy. Actually, wait. Considering what we're about to go next, I think we might want to grab our buddy Cuddy Flynn out of the PC. Bill's PC. When the storage system opened. Withdraw. Cutty Flam. Got Cutty Flam out. Got him taken care of. Alright, and now that we've gotten this, why don't we go ahead and pick up an item over at the st this. St nope, it's a, a little bit north. Is it in here? Is it you? Once in a while, battling my Pokemon couldn't make any moves with power points of PP. Okay, so yeah, just be aware of the number. The PP stands for how many times you can use it. Sometimes a healthy Pokemon will be unable to use its moves. If that happens, let it heal at a Pokemon Center or use an item. They're basically saying that every move can only be used a limited number of times, and a Pokemon Center can refill the number of times you can use it. Is it you in here? Oh, you're better than Whitney. Do you know that moving tree will help it with the Squirt Bottle that attacks? But since you got some badges, you should be okay. Alright, we got the Squirt Bottle. I'll put the Squirt Bottle in the key pocket. Yep, this is a key item that you absolutely need to progress. And now that we picked it up, we can safely move out of Goldenrod. And move on to... Oh right, this isn't Crystal where they tell you the name of the route when you get there. Route 35. Anyways, hello lady. Are you going to the gym? Me too. No. -uh. Oh wait, you're talking about the next... Gyms, right. Whitney's not the final boss. Picnicker Kim wants the battle. Picnicker Kim sent out Vulpix. Okay, Herc. Do what you did against Whitney's mill tank and don't die. Alright, we'll work with that. Actually, no. We're not, we're not just gonna work with that. We're gonna love that. That's great. That's amazing. Keep it up. That is some good work. That's what we in the industry call good work. Huh. Hi Gold, how are you? I found you so I have some with your money. Sorry, it's a new PC. Hope you like it. Yeah, your mother can do that. She can spend the money she saves with you. I'm gonna show my girlfriend I'm hot stuff. Buddy, if she doesn't like you for who she for who you are, she's toxic and you gotta dump her. That's all I'm saying, Elliot. I'm I'm only here to bring you the practical life advice. Porn attack. And Herc's up to level 21, meaning Herc is now able to legally drink. Alright, Camper Elliot is about to use Meryl. Uh, who would be best to send out against a Meryl? Uh... Eh, uh, screw it, let's go with Glenn. Oh, look at you, buddy, in your debut battle. Let's slam it down. Glenn, buddy, I kind of need you to hit these if you're gonna... There you go! Alright, alright. We'll work with that. That's some very respectable stuff. Of course, you are more of a special attacker, so using a physical attack on you is kind of... Eh. And it's not when it's your ground major. Anyways, Elliot, wish you would have lost from me. Buddy, you gotta be yourself. 
If your girlfriend can't accept you for who you are, then she is toxic and you gotta let them go. They're not a good fit for you, my guy. Anyway. My boyfriend's weak, so I can't rely on him. Excuse you? He's trying! At least he's not lazy. He's actively going out there and trying. You and your Pikachu. Well, you know what? Your Pikachu's useless. You're growling at me. Oh no, I'm so scared. Anyways, slap it with mud. I hope some hit your face. Be nice. You did nothing but growl at me. You suck. Your boyfriend put up more of a fight than you! Can you believe that toxic couple over there? Idiot, you think you're good? Alright. Ivan wants to battle. Alright, Ivan, what do you got? You got yourself a Diglett? Alright. Oh, it's a 10. So, uh, yeah, about that. Here's my water magnitude 6. Oh, right, Diglett's fast. I should know I used one! On this channel, as a matter of fact, Pokemon Fire Red was a team member. Anyways, yep, we got that. About to use Zubat. Ooh. A Zubat versus Zubat? Don't mind if I do. Uh huh. Especially when mine is ten levels above yours. If you have something else for my fire red team, that would be insane. Because right now we're going two for two on Pokemon that I've used. Alright. I'm about to use Diglett again! This is Glenn's fight. Mr. Wynn is coming up on his evolution very soon. But, you know, I like to keep my Pokemon evenly leveled so that way I'm not over-leveling one and then just relying on it. Alright. 243 EXP. Kipper, I have once defeated. I give. Alright, thank you. Anyways, moving past the toxic couple. They're out of view. Hello. Behold, my graceful ball dexterity. Uh-oh. He's talking about balls. Oh, okay, he's just a juggler. Irwin. What kind of a name is Irwin? <laughs> Die. Excellent. This is what you deserve. Alright, what do you got next? Another Voltorb? No, it's level 14! Kill it. Kill him now. You will kill the bomb. I, w I kinda I kinda was hoping it would use explosion, but then just miss. <laughs> and Glenn's 21, so that means a long glad Herc. He can drink. That's probably a bad combination. About to use Voltorb again. Do you only have Voltors, my guy? Mud slap. Ah! That's 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 mean. I don't like Screech. You know, this is kind of proof why you shouldn't really do a monotype team unless you're doing it for a challenge run on YouTube. But still, all Voltorbs? What's going to happen when you encounter a ground type? Oh wait, I know what's gonna happen. A bloody massacre. And you know why I know it's gonna happen? Because I just did that to you. That crit wasn't even needed. You're level 6. And you're defeated. And you... Actually, wait. Considering how I like to do things, I... Well, at least with Zuko, because I want to fight this guy. I'm practicing fire breathing. <gasps> You're a firebender? 
Ew. You're a clown. And you have a butt now. You have a butt thing. Headbutt! Crit! Remember the one's about to use Magma again, so I'm not going to switch. Headbutt! Okay, the health is gone. We're using smog. Fiber the wall is defeated. Scorched. Yes, sir. I'll go anywhere if I find Bug Pokemon that appear there. <laughs> oh, buddy. There's a reason why Bug is the worst type. Bug Catcher Arnie! With his Venonat. Yuck. Emba. Am I also the only one who thinks that Venonat should have evolved into Catter? Venonat should have evolved into Butterfree and that. Uh... The Caterbia line should have evolved into Venomoth. I mean, I know it's mostly just because Venonat and Cat Butterfree look so similar, but... Really, I could totally see it going out of the way. Anyways, everyone now except for Mr. Wayne can drink. I'm trying to learn Quick Attack, but can't learn one of one moves to lead an older rune of ink with a Quick Attack. Uh, yeah. Leer. It's outlived its usefulness. Zuko learned Quick Attack. Bloodcatcher Arnie is defeated. Anyways, now it's time to switch Mr. Wayne to the front. It's gonna get to level 21, then 22. I'm gonna get two levels to start the pack. If you can use cut, you get one use cut, cutty flame he's cut. And now I can continue moving forward on the journey. Not you, but I do want to talk to you. I'm going to read your thoughts. No uh Hmm. Alright, psychic mark. What are you gonna go? You're gonna be like, Hello everybody, my name is Mark Blair, and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's. Now, <clears throat> yeah, bite it. Bite it. Does it know anything other than teleport? Oh, it flinched, so we don't figure that out this turn. Alright, well we don't know what that Abra has. But we do know that it gave me good experience. Abra again, so no. This one is the same level, so... If this one doesn't flinch, we'll be able to figure out if, what it has. Alright, super effective. Flash! Ew! Alright. Well, anyway. On the bright side, I think that's all they have aside from tele- Oh no, Kadabra. Okay, that might actually be scary. Kadabra might actually be scary. Um... <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh uh, Zuko. Kadabra has some actual moves, <laughs> and Zubat's weak to say. I pray, I like the poison type. They're very resistant, and the flying type helps out with its resistances. But one of the few things it's not resistant to is psychic types, and it had very clearly had confusions. That was a good thing we got Zuko out of there when we did. Oh, it's gonna take go down this turn. Even if we are faster. Psychic Mark was defeated. Again, I'm trying not to have Zuko fate because it has a friendship evolution for its final stage, and I want to build that up. And hello, sir. You! You! I don't really have a problem with your team. It's not like you're an infamous battle, but Schoolboy Allen with your Tangela. That's green instead of blue. You have caused me so much trouble in my playthrough of Crystal. Oh yeah, I'd also like to mention I have Confuse right now, which is just supersonic, but instead of being, but instead of being 55% accurate, it's 100% accurate, so guaranteed confusion, which is a good thing. An obvious upgrade, and I actually intend for it to be a part of the final move set for our beloved Mr. Wayne. 
Anyways. You caused me so many issues. Because you can get... Oh, what? Well, okay, I think you only have Constrict, so I think I can just bite you. Anyways, you are one of two ways you can obtain a Firestone. And between those two ways, you're the only way to get it before the post game. When he can randomly call you, call you. So it's random if you even get the call. And if you do, there's a small chance. So on top of that, it's still a game of chance whether or not you're going to get the call where he has a Firestone. I used a Growlithe on my team. And at first I was going to use it, but then I realized it was version exclusive. But I wanted to use it on my own time. I have now learned the mistake of using a Pokemon that evolves through an elemental stone on my first play in a Johto playthrough. It is impossible to obtain them! Which really doesn't like the sport bottle. Anyways, if you use it, the weird tree tries to attack you. To where it turns out that the weird tree... Pseudo Wudo? <laughs> I'm not saying like the shot like it's Pseudo Wudo, I'm just saying that's your sprite in this game? Anyways, this is Glenn's fight because Pseudo Wudo, despite its appearance, is actually a rock type. It's a rock type posing for a tree. But it failed. We're gonna use a uh, water gun. Let's see how much water gun does. Super effective. Mimic. Okay, so we're getting water gun, which is not something I'm scared of in the slightest. Uh, mud slap. Let's try that. Okay, yeah, no. Water gun is the way to go. I do not intend on catching this because it's not really good for much. If you want it on your team, I guess, but it's not a personal recommendation that I would give. Anyway, uh, do I want to continue? Do I want to continue forward? No, I do not. All right. So we, I am going to pause the recording. Actually, no, I'm gonna end it off here. Okay, I'm gonna pause this and then I'll be back. All right, I am back and with my team being fully healed and us being at a very good, my good stopping point and with us being at a good stopping point, I'm going to consider that this to be the end of today's episode. So, next time on Pokemon Silver, we will continue along the route to see how far we can go. But, we still have stuff. We still have time to get to that point. So, anyways, what I'm trying to say is that I bid y'all a good West Virginia summer, everybody. The name is Lufang, and I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.